Hey there guys, Neil here, back with a game review. So, for today's game, I wanted to uh, talk about a game that I consistently have seen, or recently have seen quite a bit in my recommended apps. In Gation of um, Google Play, or the Google Play Store, and it's a game called Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Um, so, essentially, the purpose of the game here is, if you're familiar with the game Star Wars Commander, it's kind of along those lines, or, but... Um, with a slightly different mode of gameplay where instead of building up your base and fighting against rebels or uh, or the empire depending on the faction you pick you're building up your own team of heroes and or villains from the star wars universe upgrading their abilities over time and going to fight against um other teams and people and um missions in the star wars universe so um, I've already played a few, a bunch of different levels just to get a general idea of the gameplay and um, get a feel for what to do and how to upgrade characters and all of that different stuff. So um, apparently, and so apparently this is a new thing that ships are coming soon to the game, so I can't wait to see that. But right now it's all character based. You get um, various different um, updates and add-ons and things as part of the rewards prize and as you play you get you can upgrade more and more stuff so um the interface is pretty straightforward you have the your inbox or newsletters and things like that you have characters achievements and things like that to keep track of where you're at in the game the settings menu is also pretty um straightforward um so audio um audio um, effects um, if you want to sign into Google Play to keep track of your achievements see where you are with your against your friends any tips and tricks and things like that so pretty straightforward there um, you also have daily activities so um, in this case I have uh, bonus energy available so I'll claim that um, and then going into my inbox for example there's daily squad arena goals and things like that so in this case I'm gonna claim some items here so I'll claim um, everything in here and what that does is when you go into your characters you'll be able to upgrade them using the various um, talents and skills uh, when you start the game though you start with um, to, um, a Jedi consular with a lightsaber um, a I believe it was a first or not a, a clone uh, sergeant sergeant from the Republic era and one other uh, random car so in this case I got um, Chewbacca so um, he's my upgrade so um, and then you see stars with what their various levels are at and you start off on the light side of the um, with light side character so for example I earned Luke Skywalker, I have Chewbacca, Clone Sergeant, Jedi Consular, a Resistance Trooper, I, Ewok Scout and then you can as you even in the early stages claim dark side characters so for example the Royal Guard a, um, the First Order Student Trooper, a Talia, and a Snow Trooper characters like that, but you won't have access to them until I think it's level 12 or 20, um, which, at which you can unlock, unlock the dark side and use those characters as, as well. Um, to show the upgrade system, um, I haven't upgraded the Clone Trooper in a while, so um, as you can see, I have a Rotary Blaster, Suppressive Fire for uh, shooting multiple targets, and Concentrated Fire, which is an upgrade I don't have yet. Um, you can also upgrade your characters with various add-ons. So if you've played MMOs and this is uh, familiar. So for example, I have this Neuro Sav Electro Binocular. So it adds strength, agil agility, and intelligence. Um, I've also added this Fusion Furnace. So it adds uh, speed. And then this other Lorinar Power Cell, which adds agility. So various upgrades add to his abilities. By, doing, by clicking on the train, you can see how much... Um, you can how many how much in upgrades you can add to your character so in this case um i can add a little bit of upgrade to him so i'm upgrading this gives me upgrades from level 15 to 16 it adds or is giving him some strength agility and intelligence so um that's pretty much all there is for that um so now i can go back to my uh, home since i've used up all my upgrade credits um, if you have more than one, you don't necessarily have to use them all in one character. You can use them over multiple characters as well um, in your inventory. So if you want to um, upgrade multi or provide upgrades to multiple characters, you can do that. And you can see that I just leveled up to level 12, so I got more energy. 
Um, so when that happens, I haven't really narrowed down exactly where the upgrades happen, but um, if I get items, I go into the character upgrade screen and upgrade my characters right away. Um, assuming that you have enough credits, you can also um, buy data cards, which allows you to um, get more characters, get more upgrade uh, packs and things like that. So in this case, I have 591 of these um, gems, and in order to get a possible character or a new character, I only need 350, so I'll actually buy one and see if I get anyone new and um, decide to earn it. So it's a nice little gra graphic animation, which is one of those things that actually impresses me quite a bit. And in this case, I got Qui-Gon Jinn, who is a light side character. Um, and then you can click on the um, portrait to see more, get more information in a character. So um, I'll hit finish. And um, as you can see, my uh, gems went down to 241. So um, now what I will do is I'll show off um, the uh, a battle for as part of the mission set. I haven't um, actually played a squad arena yet, so um, um, I ha you'll see all my different, all the different pop-ups to get to learn about what that is. Um, so basically, what the squad arena does is that it allows you to play against other people, um, and you can get different uh, tokens and things like that in order to um, get. Uh, to uh, practice your skills and upgrade your um, abilities and character set and all that. So, so um, I'll start with a light side battle. Um, so at this point, I can, I can. It's gonna be, or you'll get a summary of the description. It's gonna be on Endor, and I'm gonna be battling stormtroopers. So I'll hit battle. Um, there are three rounds to, um, to the to each uh, light side battle or to each battle so um there is that um i don't know why qui-gon jinn didn't actually show up but uh so what i will do is actually i'll go back figure out what's going on um so i'll click on characters and qui-gon jinn so what's going on here um i I guess he's only obtainable in certain locations or at a certain point, so um, I probably just don't have the ability to use him yet. Um, so I'll go back and I'll continue on with, with um, and actually I'll take that back. It looks like I have already unlocked the dark side, so I'll try that out, see how that is. Um, so these are my dark side characters. I have a couple of stormtroopers. Um, I don't know who they are, that Talia lady and a um, royal guard. So the effect is basically the same. You whatever characters you have in your character set, you can use as a um, playable character. So the left button here is a standard um, attack for each character, um, and then the right. Um, button is our special attack or focus attack so um, basically you will give use whatever their super or extra power is so in this case a royal guard has a heal up um, this other lady has was um, um, pulling them closer I guess this stormtrooper has a um, rapid shot so it all depends a loose skywalker early on has a rifle and then sniper shot um, the Republic Commando has a straight shot and then um, a uh, quick shot so um, it depends on each character um, and then for example my Jedi Consular has a lightsaber attack and then the healing ability so um, when you play the when you get the characters and you see what they can do you'll um, you can easily see most of the icons are pretty straightforward but if you're not sure um, early on, it's good to just test out what all of their abilities are so you know exactly what's going on. Um, and then on your final encounter, it'll tell you that it's a final encounter. It's kind of basically like your boss fight. So I have um, the Ewok. So since I'm playing on the dark side, it's the Empire attacking the um, the base on the uh, forest moon of Endor. Um, so basically, you get a different amount of turns and different amount of attacks. So... 
Um, it's always good to have a character with a healing ability, especially if you're going to be in an area that requires a lot of... Um, or where your enemy may be on par or stronger than you. So that way at least halfway through or in your final battle you can um, heal up and um, get... Um, or at least make it to the round or at least make sure that you can be as victorious as possible. So once you've done the battle, it'll give you a summary of the rewards that you have won for that, um, for that round. So when you hit continue, you can either continue playing and doing what a major power up all or major level up all your characters all at once, or you can go back and uh, use whatever you've earned to level up your characters right away. So um, in this case, I'm going to go to my royal guard and I'm going to train him with whatever I have. So I have uh, six items here that I can level up with. So, um, so I'll hit train um, and I leveled up from 11 to 13. So it gives you the summary of all the different um, items that you're leveling up with. I'll hit continue, and um, that's all there is for that. There's no other things that I can add here, but I do have strength, um, agility, and intelligence, um, and speed. And um, As you level up your characters, you'll have more, and you can also level up your characters once you have enough of these um, add-ons to um your characters and that way you can um, gain further abilities for those characters um so now i'll go into the squad battle um area so in this case um i can pick i can pick from one of these areas so i'll pick for example um this one i'm not sure exactly what it looks like those are the two characters he has so i'm going to pick some of um, I'll pick some of my various char the characters I have that I like, so I'll pick those. Since this is the first time, I'm not too um, overtly worried about it, but um, it doesn't hurt to give it a shot. So in this case, um, so my first character is Luke Skywalker, and you can touch the... If you have multiple characters, you can pick multiple characters you want to um, attack. If there's a particular character you want to attack first, then you can do that. So in this case, I want... I, it's actually a better idea to take out the um, Jedi on the on whoever I'm fighting. So um, I will actually take that out, take that character out first. Um, so as you can see, um, he's actually going after some of my characters. So um, since he already used his um, healing ability, I, it's easier to take him out since I know that. Um, um, he's not going to be able to use that for a couple more rounds. So, easy win. He only had his two characters versus my five. So, um, arena report, I went up a um, couple thousand in rank. So, um, I'll, it looks like I'll get um, additional rewards in my daily battle. And then you have, I have my 242 gems, so I can keep fighting. Or I can um, go in and redeem based on what I have. So, I have 200... Um, of these shards so I can scroll up see if there's anything I can even try getting and not yet um, so I'll go back and looks like I can upgrade some more characters um, so in this case Qui-Gon um, still nothing on that um, so I will go back and work on my Jedi console a little bit there's nothing else I can add as far as uh, mod, so I'll train him a little bit more. Um, nothing there, so actually what I'll do is I'll go through and uh, see if there's any character that I can actually um, upgrade. Uh, going one by one doesn't look like I have anything I can do just yet, so I'll go back to my screen. Um, it, is, it is giving me... Um, that plus one so I'm not sure exactly where that's coming into play so I'm sure there's something that I'm not seeing at the moment but I'll poke around a little bit more but that's the bulk of the game so um, if you have if so basically if you have played Star Wars Commander the learning curve is pretty uh, low the only major the only real thing that you have to learn is the um, UI and kind of getting around um, um, just how to play the game and the more of a 3D effect so you do get additional um, slightly more 
detailed uh, graphics, graphical UI and more of that 3D elements. So um, it is definitely a game worth playing. So the game is available for free. And so as, it, as I mentioned, as I got installed mine from Google Play, but it is also available for iOS. So um, definitely cross-platform compatible and very easy to get into. I do like the animations. It has a good um, UI to... Um, uh, or f UI that easily matches um, the Star Wars UI and is definitely um, easy to get used to. Um, but that's really all there is for this particular review. So if you have any uh, questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, you can always email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com. You can find me on uh, Twitter at Patel N01 and um, of course, you can find the podcast and uh, show lo show prior show episodes, subscription links, all of that good stuff at pateln01.com. And of course, prior uh, reviews and screencasts can be found on YouTube at youtube.com slash pateln01. But that is all for this particular review. Thanks for watching and listening. And until next time.